Hi boys and girls and welcome to your online violin lesson. So today we're going to be going over how to hold the violin, shaping your left hand, um, left hand position, and we're going to be learning F sharp, E, and D on your D strings so that we can learn how to play hot cross buns. So first, make sure you have your sponge attached to your violin so that your you have a nice shoulder rest here. So I am going to stand up nice and tall with my feet hip distance apart, so not my feet together, keep them hip distance apart. I'm going to take my left hand, place it onto the left shoulder of the violin. I'm going to bring my violin out to my left. I'm going to tilt it down and bring it right onto my left shoulder and turn my nose towards my scroll. So I should look like this. So let's do that again. Let's bring this down. Stick your violin out in front. Left hand is on the left shoulder. Bring it out to your left, tilt it down, bring it up onto your left shoulder, and turn your nose towards the scroll. So you should never have your violin like this. This wouldn't be a very good position. So it's up on your shoulder, my nose is pointing to my scroll. If you need to adjust your sponge underneath, you could just reach under and adjust your sponge. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna work on is our left hand position. So this is my left hand that's on the left shoulder. So I'm gonna take my left hand and I'm going to slide it up. My thumb is coming up right next to this first piece of tape. My pointer finger, just the side of my pointer finger is going alongside, so it's parallel to my thumb on the first tape. We talked in lessons today about how your wrist needs to be down, not this way, this is not good, and not up holding your violin. And we talked about where what part of your body is going to be holding on to the violin? Do you remember what we said? If you answered your chin and your shoulder, you are correct. So make sure your wrist is down and that your elbow is away from your body. We wouldn't want it like this either. This is not good. So elbow is away from body, wrist is down. And we talked about today how our thumb should create a little window. I don't know if you can see this. There's right here, I can see through my thumb. I don't have my hand up like this. So it is down. So up on your shoulder, wrist is down, elbows away from body, you have your window. I want you to take your right hand and you're gonna place your right hand alongside the fingerboard, so your right hand thumb. Take your pointer finger and reach, reach over and pluck your G string, so echo after me, me first. So let's go on to your D string, me first, you second. So ready? Here I go. Good job. Let's find your A string. So your A string is your next string over. Echo after me, me first. Make sure, check your wrist. Is it holding onto the violin? If it is, bring it down. Remember, not this way, just like this, nice and relaxed. Next, let's pluck your E string, me first. Good job. Take your left hand, slide it down onto the left shoulder and bring your violin down. Good job. So next, let's work on and review your open strings. So what I would like you to do right now, boys and girls, you could take your violin, you could place it under your right arm like this, is get your music stand, or a place where you can have your music set up, and get your book. So now I'm sitting down, I have my stand next to me, and I'm opening my book to page three. I'm just gonna move my stand a little bit to adjust it. So I'm gonna take again my violin, place my left hand on the left shoulder, bring my violin out to the left, I'm being very careful of my stand, tipping it and bringing it right up onto my left shoulder and my nose is pointing towards the scroll. Your scroll should also be pointing towards your music so that you can see your fingers and you can see the music. 
So if you're turned this way, just turn yourself so you're sitting up nice and tall and point your scroll towards the music. So on page three, we're reviewing our four strings. So if we try string cycle in four, um, number two, we're starting on our G string. So I'm gonna take my left hand, slide my left hand up, my left hand thumb's coming by that first piece of tape, my pointer finger, the side of my pointer finger is going right parallel across from my thumb. I have my window, my wrist is down, and my elbow is away from my body. So let's start with string cycle in four, starting on G. One, two, ready, play. Let's try string cycle in three. So we're starting on what note? E, good job. Here we go, one, two, play. Good job. So next I would like you to move on to song number four and five in the book on page three. So you can pause the video and work on that. Next, let's work on your left hand so we could start putting our fingers down on the fingerboard. So turn your page to page four. We talked about your left hand shape today. So what we're gonna do is see if you can make this shape. So you're gonna put your middle and your ring finger together like this, and you're going to spread your thumb and your pointer finger out. So this is our left hand shape. And if you look at your fingerboard, you can notice that the first tape and the second tape is furthest away the second and the third tape are closest together. So here's your first tape, second tape, third tape. So what we're gonna do is let's take, place again, violin on the left hand shoulder, bring it up onto your shoulder, thumb, slide hand up. So thumb's going along your first tape, your index finger's going right parallel across from it. You're going to take your pointer finger, find your D string, and I'm gonna place my pointer finger on the first piece of tape. What note does that make? If you answered E, you're correct. And just remember, boys and girls, that this E is different from your high E string. This is a lower sounding E. So I'm pushing my finger down on the first piece of tape and I'm gonna pluck E. So echo after me, listen. Make sure your wrist isn't holding on like this. Bring it down if it is. Place your second finger down on the second piece of tape. What note does that make? If you answered F sharp, you are correct. So two fingers down on the D string. One, two, makes F sharp. So echo after me on F sharp. I'll go first. Just check your position. Make sure you're not holding your violin down like this or it's not moving in the front. Make sure it's up on your shoulder and again, your wrist is down. So what I'd like you to do, boys and girls, is to look at number eight in your book on page four, finger preparation on F sharp, E, and D. Let's start by saying the notes and moving our fingers on the fingerboard. So our first note is D. So we have D, E, D, E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, D, 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 rest. Good job. If you need to, you can rewind the tape and do that again. This time I'm gonna take my right hand, place it alongside my fingerboard, and I'm going to pizzicato, pluck the strings, and say the letters. So ready, here we go, ready, go. D, E, D, E, D, E, F sharp, F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, D, 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 rest. Good job. 
So again, you could rewind the tape and do that several times. This time, I'm just gonna pizzicato it. So I'm gonna say the notes in my head as I pizzicato. So one, two, ready, play. Rest. Good job. Check your position. Make sure you're not like this. It's up on your shoulder and your wrist is down. So slide your left hand down and let's bring your violin down. So this week, boys and girls, I'd like you to work on page four in your book, working on songs number six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So next week when you come back for lessons, you should be able to play all those songs using your fingers on the fingerboard. Make sure you fill out the blue box on page four that you have to name the strings and write down what the notes are on the D string when you place your fingers on the fingerboard. And I will see you next week. Make sure you practice seven times and have your parents sign your homework sheet.